This discusses how to convert daily date to weekend and month end date for the purpose of data grouping by week or month. To this end, the following Excel functions are adopted. The Excel text function returns a number in a given number format, as text. You can use the text function to embed formatted numbers inside string. The Excel weekday function takes a date and returns a number between 1 to 7 representing the day of week. In case of return type 11, weekday returns 7 for Sunday and 1 for Monday. The Excel switch function compares one value against a list of values, and returns a result corresponding to the first match. The Excel EA month function returns the last day of the month, and months in the past or future. Month 0 means end of the date month. Create drop down list. Drop downs allow you to pick an item from a list that you create. Referring to a worksheet sheet 1 with data set organized in rows, headers consist of date, plan, and actual. The plan and actual data are daily basis as imported from external file without any processing. Depending on project reporting period, the report may be on the weekly basis or on the monthly basis. Therefore, it is necessary to convert data date into project weekend date or month end date to facilitate to aggregate the raw data by weekly or by monthly. For reference, we may want to return the weekday corresponding to date. For this purpose, use text function with DDDD for argument of format text. For autofill, you can drag the fill handle, the small box at the lower right of the active cell, to copy the cell. Project Weekend is different depending on Project Weekly cutoff day defined for the purpose of weekly reporting. We use weekday function with argument return type 11 in case of Sunday weekend, 12 for Monday, 13 for Tuesday and so on. 11 for return type is used in the first example to convert date to the date of Sunday. Date plus 7 weekday of the date with 11 for the return type. To check whether the date is converted correctly, we may try to return the weekday of the converted date using text function in column G. Autofill the formulated cell by dragging down the fill handle. Project weekly cutoff day varies by project, for example, Friday or Saturday. Weekly cutoff date is to be formulated to correspond to project weekday. For this purpose, create a drop down list of all weekdays in a cell. The selected weekday is passed to the formula for weekly cutoff date. To create drop down list, go to Data tab. Find Data Validation in the Data Tools group and press the down arrow to select Data Validation button in the list. On the Data Validation dialog, go to Setting. Select List in the Allow field. Enter source from cells or type item name separated by comma. When we deal with multiple conditions, we may use nested if function or switch function. Here we use switch function to allow to return weekend date corresponding to project weekend day which is selected in the drop down list. The Excel switch function compares one value against a list of values, and returns a result corresponding to the first match. The first argument, expression, represents a selection in the list down. The list of values are 7 weekdays from Sunday till Saturday, weekdays in the drop down list in cell E1. If the weekday of the date in cells of column A matches with weekday in the list down list, the function returns early's date of the weekday. Total 8 pairs of value and result are contained in the function, including header name. The return type of weekday function argument is 11 for Sunday, 12 for Monday and 17 for Saturday and the like. When you change the project weekend day in cell E1, rows in column E returns weekend date corresponding to the weekday. Use E a month to calculate month end date that fall on the last day of the month. Zero is taken as the argument of months for the same month of the date. To show month year without date, set date format as MMM, YY. This part discusses how to aggregate daily data into monthly data table suitable for Excel chart creation. The functions and tools used in this part are 
the Excel unique function returns a list of unique values in a list or range. The Excel transpose function flips the orientation of a given range or array. The Excel sum if function returns the sum of cells that meet a single condition. The Excel sum function returns the sum of values supplied. Cell reference won't change when the formula using an absolute reference is copied. To make the formula absolute reference, add dollar mark manually or press shortcut key, that is, F4 key. It is necessary to find unique months at the top row for the data table. Excel unique function is used and select the month end dates in column F. This will return the unique months vertically. We will have data table laid out horizontally and to flip vertical array to horizontal array, use Excel function transpose. Perform format cells using the format cells dialog such as orientation, date type, and so on. Compute monthly total using Excel sum if function. Specify the range as the first argument to identify the rows matching with the criteria to be specified as the second argument and finally, enter the range containing values to be summed. This enables the Excel sum if function to returns the sum of cells that correspond to the criteria month. Divide month total by plan total to return in percentage. Monthly actual progress is computed using Excel sum if and sum function in the same way. Before paste the formula in a cell to other cells, it is necessary to check whether cell reference should address the same cells. Press F4 key if the same cells should be addressed. Finish format cells by adding borders for the data table. We have discussed how to build structured data set referring to unstructured raw data using Excel functions. Thanks for your time.